Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC Flight Test and today we're looking at the XK DHC2 A600. Now this is a great model if you want to try flying RC models for the first time. Now why is that? It's because it has a very clever onboard gyro system which makes the plane very stable to fly if you're an inexperienced pilot. It will keep the plane very stable and easy to fly. Now once you've got to the point where you can fly the plane very easily then you can switch that mode off into 3D mode and it will allow the plane to be fully aerobatic. The other great thing about this product is that it comes with everything that you need in the box to fly the model with the exception of these AA batteries that you need to put in the transmitter but everything else comes with the model you get the plane you get the transmitter you get the flight battery that goes in the plane and the charger to recharge that battery so let's not hang around let's take the components out of the box let's see what we get okay so all I've done here is pulled the foam carton out of the box and you can see that everything is very well protected you can be fairly sure that when it arrives from rcmoment.com that you're going to get an undamaged model plane so we've got the instructions on top I've had a few XK model planes before and these are very well instructions good instructions very well written easy to follow we get the uh, the wing on top I will, uh, that will just screws on top of the fuselage after you've taken the connection for the ailerons uh, and plug those into the receiver inside the, the fuselage. That's easily done and there are instructions you can follow how to do that. There's no real building involved with this model. You just literally have to put the, the wing on top and the uh, undercarriage underneath. So we've got the, the motor and the propeller already there and we've got our, our, rudder, our rudder and elevator already hooked up to the servos that are inside the model. So that's good. We've got the uh, spare propeller and spinner and we've got some struts um, that connect the wings to the fuselage and we've got the landing gear and wheels as well. We've got the the charger and power adapter so that we can charge up the flight battery and we've got the transmitter as well and if we look in the back here we need to use four double A's and put those in there okay so what we're going to do we're going to charge up the flight battery and put some double A's in here and then we're going to go down the flying field and fly this for the first time Okay, so here we are down the park with the DHC2 A600. Um, so I've, I've put the wing on top and connected up the two leads out of the wing into the, into the fuselage, put the wheels on the, on the bottom and the little tail wheel at the back as well and put my double A's in the transmitter. So put the transmitter down. This is the first thing that you do is plug in the flight battery. So let's do that. And that's the little two cell 300 milliamp hour flight battery. Let's plug that in first. That slips easily inside. And then the little battery hatch goes on top. Make sure that's clipped on top. And then we turn on the transmitter. When you've done that, just check that the elevator, the rudder, and the ailerons work. And a bit of power. Now, I was saying about this 6G and 3D mode. So to get into 6G mode, it starts in 6G mode, but when you want to get into 3D mode and have unrestricted movement and fly aerobatics, you press down on the, on the right stick, the aileron stick, like that. And then to put it back into 6G stabilised mode, click on that again, that puts it back into 6G mode. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's fly it for the first time. Okay, so we're all lined up. Let's try flying this in, in 6G mode.
So I have to say this 6G mode really does work. It keeps it really, really stable in the wind and it's preventing me from rolling upside down. But considering there is quite a breeze, it's flying really nicely. And it's got quite a bit of power. More than I thought it would have. Okay, we're down. So that was really good actually, even in this is quite blustery uh, little breeze going on. And uh, so the 6G mode's not only helping you not flip the model upside down and restricting the movement, but allowing you to fly it quite nicely, but it's also reacting to the bumps and the turbulence that you get with the, with the wind as well. So really nice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try it in, six, in 3D mode. See what we can do with it. Here we go. Okay, so we're now in 3D mode, and even though you know it's giving us more movement, it's still really keeping the model really stable, not allowing us to do anything too wild, so we don't we don't crash it. But certainly, uh, certainly making it more exciting to fly. It's fine, fine. You're going to have the little, the odd little, little crash, but uh, it's made of really nice foam, so it's not going to no damage, and the prop's fine as well. Let's try again. So there we go. So 6G mode, it gives you, it's really super stabilized, even in the wind, limits your movement quite a bit. Great for a, for a first time RC pilot. In 3D mode, gives you a lot more movement, still doesn't allow you roll inverted, but that's no, that's no bad thing. It's a, it's a little model, so suited to the more experienced pilot. So it's quite a versatile little thing. So thanks for watching this Essential RC Flight Test. If you're interested in more Essential RC Flight Test, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button in the bottom right, or there's going to be one in the last 20 seconds of this video in the top right. Great price, great little model. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time.